so we are at um as you can see <laughs> i forgot to have a gap <laughs> fairmont uh bed and breakfast so we are outside of winnipeg we're in where are we minnedosa yeah. minnedosa about two two hours nice. two hours outside of winnipeg we came here to celebrate my parents anniversary which was two days ago so we're staying here for the night and then we're gonna go to clear lake tomorrow riding mountain i spend the day there and, and spend some time here too as well we're gonna so. have a bonfire we're gonna have a bonfire later the so i just want to show you guys where we are this is basically a, like a, a, a farm, a Canadian farm. This is the first time I've experienced anything like this, so I wanted to document it. We're going now to where are we going? See the donkey? See the donkey. Uh, yeah. My parents haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So this there's just like a lake in the back. It's still frozen, so little cute things right here. The house. So we are near the sheep. And the donkey. There's Name one donkey Stella. right there. Her name is Stella. And we already fed her carrots. Mm -hmm. How was the? We fed her carrots, right? Yeah. How was it? It was. It was fun. So yeah. what did you do? We, you just put your hand. You, we, you just eat the carrot. Yeah. Sorry, we weren't able to show you guys yeah. that, but um, the owner um went with us over there. That's the donkey right there. That's Stella. With the sheep, she is the one who protects the sheep. <laughs> Can she fit? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> this 12 year old <laughs> going on a kitty slide. <laughs> Look at it. There's also cows here. They're not that friendly. They, they're probably not gonna go near, but... Um, I think they're two males. Two males, And yeah. you know, one of them is literally only one year old, but he's super big. Whoa, 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 whoa. Molly! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Look at these people right here. <laughs> feel the feel. Look, she prepared his tea. Yeah. And shirty. look how cute they're matching. <laughs> and this is the view. This is like a cute little sunroom. Ah, a, a porch. Porch. That's what. It is. There's like lamps there too. That's so cool. It's a living area and the dining. But we're gonna show you where our room is. So these stairs are kind of steep. Sorry guys, it's so cold outside. <laughs> This is the bathroom. So cute, my goodness. Right there. <laughs> Our room is actually in the attic. It's one big room for all six of us. The bathroom right there. So we could use two bathrooms. There's a shower over there. Anyway, this is the way up. It's this is steeper, a lot steeper, but that's okay. These are the stairs. This is Nadine's bed. And there's like a little bit. Look, this is a small window. Some towels for us. A, a little like stool, and then this. What do you call this? Like a wooden horse? Yeah. Rocking horse. Rock, rocking horse. There's another mirror. This is my bed. This is where I will stay. Do you see these li little like things at the side? There's so many things. There's books too. Dude, there's games at the back. There's games at the back. Oh my god, this is so. This we're gonna be entertained the entire night. And this is Joseph's spot. 
Joseph's tree. <laughs> this is Joseph's spot. This is his bed. And this is Andre's spot, his bed. And they both have their own little chairs right here. And do you see these? How did you how did you make this? This is so cool. There's so many shells. It fits you perfectly. <laughs> and this is where our parents will sleep. Another small window. This is um the lake. And lastly, look at this, you guys. What? Look at it. How cute. There's also a painting there. That's so cool. These are crochet blankets. At the the den. Crochet. Crochet. Oh my gosh. I also wanted to show you guys um, the different rooms available. This is one. We're the only ones in this house right now, but obviously if there were other people, like, I, could, I can't do this. And here's another room. Wow. Here. These paintings are really cool. I wonder if they're like... Look at these like crochet um, stuff, like blankets. They are so pretty. We're gonna go and see if we can help prepare dinner. Look at the sunset. Look at the sun. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I think we found a telescope, you guys. Okay. What is it actually? Is it a telescope? No, no. Wow. Can I crack? The telescope is not to close your eyes. Or not to close your other eye. So apparently there's six different board games in this one tiny box. This is the the chess checkers. Mm -hmm. I literally have no idea what this is. What is this, Jay? I don't know. It's really dark. <laughs> Your tripod. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Excited just Aurora. <laughs> Look at that egg. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs>
So the next morning, I wanted to just show you guys some pretty cool things around the house, such as this wall filled with just kitchen utensils. There's also so many paintings around the walls of the house, and Susan actually told us about each of the artists. You know, just things like their story, um, why they do their art, why they do that kind of style. She also said that she likes to um, feature the artworks of like Manitoban artists. Um, most of them are from Manitoba, which I think is really cool because you get to have like local examples or local art in your home that a lot of people will be able to see. Oh, oh, we also have these things right here. She um showed it to us because this is like a book about the farm some of the guests actually wrote he oh my goodness <laughs> someone drew molly this is super cute so this actually brings us to the end of our stay here in a canadian farm it was a really good experience for all of us we got to be you know surrounded by nature and just spend time with each other as a family I really recommend this place to anyone who would like to go on like a Manitoba road trip. Susan was just such a wonderful host. Um, she would tell us so many things about the farm and anything she does she would teach us. Um, now we know how to cook some of the things that she has served us. and. I can't wait to hopefully come back here when the weather is um, much better. It was really cold when we went. Um, I think the best time to go would probably be late summer, early fall, because then the leaves would be slowly changing and the weather isn't too hot. There would also be probably lots of, you know, crops in the garden, more animals in the farm, and yeah. That was definitely a great weekend getaway and see you guys in my next video.